Uh, for one, um, I was just praying that he missed it because I put the blame on me on that last rebound. I should have had it. Um, but, I mean, I was just praying that he missed it. And once he, when he did and the buzzer went off, it was a big relief, you know. We was putting on for the city. I mean, I feel like we're getting back to where we all thought we would have been in the beginning. So it was just it was a big sign of relief for real. It was a great win. Trey, how big of a win is it for the team to be fifteen down in the second half of the top twenty five team and for you guys to show that resilience and to fight back and, and win this game right to buzzer? How how big of a win is that for this team this year? It's a big win. I mean it's gonna help everyone's confidence. I know that for a fact. I mean just showing, you know, showing us how powerful we are when we all stick together, you know, execute the game plan and just go out and play hard, you know, and that's what we did. You know, coach was challenging us all week, you know, and we had to be the tougher team and we, in my opinion, we was a tougher team and we won. They had one field goal in the last eleven and a half minutes. What did you guys do maybe at that under twelve? Was there switch something up on defense? Nah, we was being the same we was doing the same thing. Like we seen that we had, you know, I could have seen the looks on their faces when the crowd kind of got into the game more and uh, we started making shots, dunks and all that. I seen the looks on their face. I mean, I didn't say anything, but, I mean, they kind of was, you know, it's obviously. Like on, it's kind of like on their heels. Yeah, on their heels for real, for real. And, I mean, I mean, we just wanted to keep going at them. Like, uh, forced turnovers, first bad shots. Yeah. Chris, this is the first time you played them, and I'm, I'm sure they told you about how Houston defends. But – how long did it take to adjust to how physical they are, how fast the double team comes, what they tried to do to you? Because it looked like ultimately you you eventually figured it yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a little bit of a struggle the first half trying to figure it out because they just, as soon as I, on the fly of the ball, there was two guys on me. So uh, I had a couple of bad passes that led to turnovers early. So I said kind of figure out uh, the double team and try to work around it. With a team like that, it's easy when you get down 15 to maybe feel like it's not your night. Kind of, like, what was the discussions between you guys and Huddles or uh, we just think we all had to come together, kind of show the toughness of this team. We never really – I mean, we had times we were kind of turning on each other, but we all got back together. And earlier in the season, we might have just split our different ways and lost the game by 15 or 20, but we all came back together and just started chipping away at the win. Trey, how fun is this rivalry now? Because, I mean, it really just over the past, like, three seasons has taken it off. But is this one you look forward to? Because yeah. Because how hard you guys compete against each other? Yeah, this is probably the – in the conference, this game – I mean, every game, you know, we look forward to. But this rivalry is growing into, you know, a big one. And, I mean, just me being able to be a part of it is just like – it's a blessing. I mean, we all know the game will be hyped up. And, I mean, these type of games that, you know, growing up as a kid, going, wanting to go to college, these type of games, you know, you hope to play in. And I just got to thank God for allowing me and my bros to be able to play in this type of game. 30 seconds in. Have to step in. It's just a friendly exchange of words, I'm sure. But yeah. is that the intensity of it? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 gonna be like it's always like that from the jump. I mean, it wasn't no like I said. We we just trying to hoop, you know. I mean, we we competing. They're competing. So I mean, they can say something to me. I'm not gonna back down. If I say something to my guests, they're gonna they not gonna back down either. So I mean, it's fun being able to go you know go at someone like that for real. But it's just intense from the time the ball go up to the time the horn. I'll go off. For both of you, you kind of reference it, but what, what did the crowd do for you guys in the second half? Uh, it, it boosted us. Like, when the crowd is, like, electric, we hear it, you know, it makes us feel better. Uh, I mean, it helps us big time. That's why I love, you know, when the crowd gets like that. I mean, obviously, everyone do, but, I mean, they don't understand how big of a, you know, impact they have on us. So, I mean, I just got to thank them for that. Yeah, so, they gave us a huge lift there. I mean, uh, there was times we were getting tired on defense, and that kind of just gives us a second wind hearing the crowd behind us. And also just added in to, like, I could tell the other team, like, just all the noises, like, adding confusion. There was just people were getting scattered around, like, not hearing calls. So just overall, the noise was a big factor. Did you get a good look at the full court pass, Jaron, through to Keith? And if so, what's it, the one where he dunked it? Yeah. Uh, I kind of seen it, huh? The bounce, like, yeah. When I, I kind of seen it from, like, a weird angle. I kind of seen it from like, uh, like I seen like some like one of Houston's players kind of in front of him, so I thought he could have get his hand on it. But when I saw the ball go through, and I knew it was Keith, like I just stopped. Like, oh, this is dunk. I just stopped. So I mean, great players, Jaron and Keith make big time plays, and that's what both of them did. Is that the, the Jaron difference? Him being a point guard is. Yeah, it's been helping. There's a few people that can make that. Type yeah, of pass. you know, it's it's been helping the team. It's been helping himself, and it's been helping our team. I mean. He's a bigger guard. He could see, you know, over people. He could 
point guards, if, if we got like an advantage at the opposing team point guard, I mean, we could we could do a lot of things with it. So I mean, it helps a lot for real. They're uh, doubling Chris. <coughs> Keith went out with some foul trouble. Did you feel like you were going to have to? I mean, with 16 points, 11 rebounds, and four assists, did you feel like you were going to have to do that tonight? The way they're playing with us? I just I just knew it was going to be a tough game of battle, and I had to convert convert on all my opportunities. So whatever you know, my teammates gave me whatever. Houston gave me, I just went with it. I mean, if they, I mean, we practiced a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we did was, you know, we prepared for it. But I mean, coming into the game, I knew what type of game it was going to be. And whatever I needed to do to get us a win, I was going to do it by any means. Small city, Houston Cosby tonight. Um, I believe you had the first round of the conference right out there. I mean, how much, I know you don't watch standings a lot, but just kind of knowing, man, like, okay, now we're in this battle, now we're in this thing, you get a win like tonight. How much of a boost is that? Uh, it's, it's a big boost. I mean, you know, thank God for Tulsa. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's a big boost. Um, and we got the pleasure. You know, we've been there before. A lot of a lot of us been there. Coach Brandon been there. You know, before he came here, Chris Vogt. I mean, so we all know what it takes. And we just got to go do, continue to play well, and the the rest of handle itself. How huge was the minutes that Zach Harvey gave you guys, especially in the second half? It was big. It was Zach was big time. You know, him and Mama do. They both came in, and I mean, they they was big for us tonight, and. You know, I just go back to show them. Just stay, you know, stay the course, wait your turn, wait your opportunity. And when it comes, take advantage of it. And that's what both of them did. So my hat's off to them. So I'm going to ask both of you again. What was your understanding of what happened on the ejection? <sighs> All right, so I, I think uh, <laughs> uh, um, he got bit in the leg. So like Mamadou said that they were just kind of scrapping for the ball and just, the play was dead. And just, I think, is that what it is? Like you say, yeah, like he, he bit, got, him, he on bit him on the like, the, like, around his knee, like, thigh. What did Mamadou have to say about that? He was on the ground, like. Yo, ref, he, 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 you know, try to get the ref. And I looked, and you could have seen, like, I mean, I was like, it was like a bite mark, spit kind of. It was whatever. like a bite mark on his legs. And I'm like, yo, he just bit him. And then the dude was like, you know, he was, he sold it real good, you know, got the ref's attention for real, and led to the ejection. You ever seen anything like that? No, nah, I ain't never seen that. Like, sweaty, another man biting <laughs> another man's leg. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> 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 crazy.